Hello and welcome to another Rise of the Wishkin commentary. I am Phoenix and we're continuing our coverage of the August 2015 tournament. 1v1 tournament. This uh, match was played on uh, Forza Vizen 2 right here. We have uh, Alexis on Fi, which is actually Alexis on Fire, but there's no space, I guess, in the game name to fit that. As Dwarves, he's also known as Cam. He's a Rise of the Wish King expert, uh, starting with uh, two mine shafts here, and presumably a whole of warriors right afterwards. And the, uh, his opponent, Ajax020, is Isengard. Let's take a look at their uh, powers. We have War Chant from Ajax, and uh, Alexis went for Rallying Call. And uh, Ajax is starting with uh, an Uruk Pit. And presumably Cam, yep, with the uh, Hall of Warriors right beside his uh, mine shaft. So his, uh, he can send his units quickly through the mine network since they're rather slow, of course, they're, since they're dwarves. Uh, expanding a little to the left as well. I should mention that um, a lot of the tournament uh, replays will also be covered by uh, the Destroyer001, who is our, uh, uh, the other, basically the other person who does commentaries for uh, Rise of the Witch King here on GameReplays.org. So make sure you subscribe to his channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, hopefully most people who watch this channel have already discovered him. If not, then <laughs> you should definitely check him out. Uh, we will each maintain a playlist of all the casts for the whole tournament. And the playlist will contain casts from each of us. For this particular tournament, he'll probably cover most of them just because uh, I haven't had a lot of time to record too much. Uh, anyway, we have uh, Urk Pits, or or Pits, or we have Urkai for um, for uh, Ajax. His first unit comes out now. We have uh, Phalanxes from Cam, or Creeping by the looks of it. The Urkai seem to be going straight to the center to attack Cam. And I'm just okay. So it looks like um, yeah. I was just gonna say I'm looking for forward mines, and yeah, we have uh, one up here. Cam's building one up there, so he's going to attack from the top. Looks like he's moving in closer for an, uh, an even closer attempt. And there's another one. And Ajax hasn't really scouted for forward mines, which uh, is probably a mistake. Cam quickly exits Guardians to block the orcs. They use War Chant to buff themselves, but then Cam responds to the rallying call. Uh, doesn't look like uh, stances are being used for these orcs. You really want defensive stance and shield wall formation. And Cam is using defensive stance. So he has a bit of an advantage here. And it, he might actually... Yeah, it looks like uh, Cam might actually win this first battle. So all those 400 resources on those orcs didn't ultimately lead to anything. And we have another lair that was creeped. And we have another uh, forward mine right by this inn. And Cam's also expanding around the south area, it seems. He's really working on map control right now. Hasn't actually attacked his opponent yet. But he knows what he's doing. I think this is actually how you have to play dwarves. Especially since the revealed random change. Dwarves are very effective at uh, gaining map control thanks to their mine network. And actually taking the time to set yourself up before attacking is totally worth it. I'm going to easily kill this troll in the lair. And probably gain control over the inn. Uh, it looks like we had another Uruk unit that was sent and also got killed by Guardians. So things not really going well for Ajax right now. And he seems to be unaware that his opponent is really expanding all over the place. Uh, we have Gollum here, just moving to the center. Anyway, if Ajax doesn't realize this and react to it soon, it could be really a short game. Doris can be very dangerous. Cam is definitely uh, going to go for a massive attack when he does attack, because he's going to have so many units by then. And if Ajax is just sending one or two units to get killed, Instead of uh, being prepared for a massive attack, it's going to be an issue. And really, it's, criti it's critical against dwarves to attack the... Their, to just go for their forward mines and just prevent them from uh, building up near your base. And that builder went down. Isengard lost the builder. 
And Cam is coming in with four units of Guardians. Actually, three of them are coming down and one's going for the furnace. We have a work. We have a, a work pit. And work Rider is being produced and they're certainly going to help here since Cam doesn't have any phalanxes. He doesn't expect any work Riders yet, but he's certainly going to add phalanxes to his army now. And protects the, uh, the furnace there. The Ajax manages to protect it. And manages to repel the attack overall. These Guardians trying to retreat to save themselves. But it doesn't look like it's going to work out. Meanwhile, Cam is going for this troll as well. He's going to kill him very easily. I mean, just look at the map control right now. Cam pretty much controls the whole... Like, his whole part of the map is basically under his control with mine shafts. And he's got... He's got this in. He's about to take this in. He's clearing the area. And uh, Ajax trying to go for the foreign mines at the top, but of course, this is what you have to worry about when you're uh, harassing of cavalry. It's not really harassing, it's just countering forward mines. But yeah, those phalanxes are a big threat. Try to try to move them around the back there to save them. But really, uh, well, yeah, it looks like Cam's going to let him get away with it because he's got lots of other forward mines. But he's going to lose that one. But meanwhile, he's going to attack, and this time he has a phalanx here, so he, they can't just trample these uh, these units of work riders. A rallying call used again. And Cam's easily going to kill all these guys. We have a war chant used on just the one unit of uh, crossbowmen. It's not really the same effect. And oh, what what we have Sharku, and he's running right into the pikes. Oh no. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, Isengard's first hero goes down instantly. Definitely not a good sign. We have a second Urk pit that's out. Cam already had two hulls of warrior, so he was already capable of out spamming him pretty well. And yeah, he's adding units to his mine network here. Ajax is just losing all his furnaces. I'm, just, I'm counting three of them now. Three? Yeah, I think it's just around three now. Two, perhaps. I'm just trying to see if there's another one somewhere. I don't think there is. And again, we don't really see any stance usage from uh, Ajax. Good use of work riders there to go after the Guardians. And just to repel that attack, but we have more Dwarven units coming in. And Cam is just attacking from lots of sides. We have another forward mine. We have this lair being creeped, and you can just see Cam taking over everything. Everything. And this game is not going to last much longer by the looks of it. Ajax is just barely repelling some of these attacks. Cam's still managing to do quite a bit of damage. And is that furnace going to survive? Yes, it did. Just barely. A sliver of health. Unless a Dwarven unit gets close to it again, then it's going to go down very fast. Crossbow's doing quite a bit of damage to these units. But again, Ajax is basically just forced to play defense right now. He has no way of attacking Cam. He can barely hold off these forces. We have an Undermine. And now we have a lot more Dwarven units that are out. And with that, Cam basically just put a, a forward mine really close to uh, Ajax's fortress. And these Warg Riders sneaking around to go after this forward mine. We have Phalanxes out. This could be bad news for the Warg Riders. It could take quite a bit of damage here just to take out this mine. And they're very expensive. And look at that. Look how many of these units we have. Just quickly taking a look at powers. Yeah, so we have uh, Rallying Call, Rebuild, and Undermine. And wow, a thousand max command points for camp. He's set. What the heck was that? Is that Devastation? Uh, okay. <laughs> Random use of Devastation there. 
I was wondering what is that? That was a weird looking rallying call. And yeah, Ajax is going to lose his fortress here. He has no way to save it. It's just not going to happen. Brand is here as well. Hasn't really had a chance to get any kills, so I guess he's going to now. At the very end of the battle. And that's it, Ajax is going down, and we have Sharku again, who got killed. For a second time. And hey, Brand made it to level 2. Before the end of the game. And yeah, it was a short game. Uh, I think Ajax could have benefited from better use of stances. And from... Uh, just being aggressive and using his speed to his advantage, his units, uh, his uh, orcs are faster than the Dwarven Guardians and Phalanxes. And he really needs to hunt for forward mines and just, you have to do that really early. You can't uh, let the Dwarven player start setting up uh, kind of a circle or, or semicircle around you. And yeah, that was it for this uh, cast. We will continue with uh, game two of this round in the next commentary. Mm -hmm.